Um, hi, my name is Brianna. I'm the granddaughter of Alex Uncle and Lou Lanty. Um, I know that I don't get to visit this church very often, um, but Achim has asked me to speak today, um, and I'm just so glad to celebrate Christmas today with you. Uh, I know you're all very hungry, so I will keep this message very short, and we're all very excited to see uh, the kids in the play. Um, so uh, Christmas is the time we celebrate the birth of Christ. Jesus was born in a very simple manger, um, one where Mary and Joseph were present. When I imagine the birth of the king of kings, I imagine something very lavish. Um, but that is not the case here. We see that Jesus is born in very humble surroundings. Uh, there is no fanfare, no photo op, no balloons or flowers. It's a little surprising to see this as a setting for the birth of the king of kings. Throughout our history, each generation keeps the spirit of Christmas alive. Every Christmas, Christ is born in our hearts, and in this way, our hearts are like the manger. We divide people in our society based on occupation, ethnicity, education, but we are asked today to remember that Jesus was born in humble surroundings in an ordinary stable. We are all like that ordinary stable. We are a humble place. There is no division in Jesus' eyes. But we are all very special because we house this light within us, this light of Christ. We are not special because of the materialistic things that we surround ourselves with, but we are special because of this light. Every time we are reminded of the birth of Christ, we have an opportunity for renewal. At this time of the year, we should become closer to God. We may attend church more, pray more often, or pray about people that we often forget about, the homeless, the sick, the suffering. It is also at this time of the year that we discuss Christ more often with others, especially the younger generation. At Christmas, we renew this light in the next generation. Each generation will pass on this light to the next, but we must remember that it is delicate and fragile. The Christmas spirit can be snuffed out all too easily by the concerns, the frustrations, and the dangers of the world we live in. And so every year we look to Christmas to reinvigorate, to ponder, to ask, to test, and to rejoice what it means to be Christian in the modern world. The best way to spread Christmas cheer is to sing loud so that all may hear. This is often a common theme in uh, movies, Elf, Fred Claus, um, even Charlie Brown's Christmas. Um, and it kind of shows how our society views Christmas today. It's about the big trees and the shiny lights, uh, but the real light should be the heart, the, should be the light in our hearts. Commercial Christmas is about getting that new Jedi Master lightsaber, or the Mo Doc McStuffins Take Care of Me Lambie, the new Barbie, or the latest logo set. But not only are the children focused on getting these gifts, but we also see the parents are overcome with the desire to buy the best gift for their child, but at this time of the year, we need to recognize the that the ways Christ asks us to be present for others in times of need. The Christmas movies always talk about how important family is at this time. In Elf, Buddy is craving for a relationship with his dad. And that's great, but Jesus asks us to expand our idea of family. Who is my mother, my sister, my brother? He challenges us with that question and asks us to enhance our vision of what family is. The secular world tells us that who live must die and therefore eat, drink, and be merry. But Christmas tells us that our lives are imbued with meaning beyond our transitory existence here. We live our lives with an awareness of the transcendent. It will have beneficial effects for generations to come that we cannot even fathom. We have a life even after that, and for that we must thank Jesus for the sacrifices he has made. At Christmas we celebrate hope and our chance to exist beyond this earthly realm. Christmas celebrates the birth of a special baby and reminds us of the sacred light within each individual person. Though we are confined always to living in the present moment, the Christmas spirit asks us to free our imagination to see the baby, the child, the adult, and the elderly all within the same sacred individual. When we look at the night sky, what do we see? Venus, if we're lucky, maybe the Big Dipper, 
But 2,000 years ago, wise men looked up to the sky and saw something completely different. They saw a great light that guided them on a life-changing journey. At Christmas, we should lift up our eyes and look towards heaven. We must search for the guiding star within our own lives. Where are we going? Where do we want to be? How do we want our relationship with Christ to look like? As we look into the future, we realize that there are countless possibilities, countless ways in which science and technology will empower man to have godlike powers countless ways humans interact with each other and society, but all those possibilities of human existence are prone to corrode the human soul unless we remember what this day is about. Humility, grace, forgiveness, charity, love, and kindness. We need to value each and every individual regardless of their wealth, their education, or their social status bestowing upon our existence a transcendent value that will shape humanity forever in the future. That is what was born Christmas Day. As we celebrate Christmas, we should remember that Christmas, what Christmas is really about. We should look past the big trees, the shiny lights, and the presents underneath the tree. We should see the light within others and within ourselves. We should remember, too, the Christians in the Middle East as they celebrate this joyous day with us. So let us bring our frankincense and myrrh and lay them at the foot of the manger that is our heart, wherein lays the newborn Christ.